All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday. We are playing the BS. You're looking at the title and you're like, no. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you guys do not know, yeah, I'm, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! tuber. I do Yu-Gi-Oh! of course, but I love me some Pokemon. Like, holy crap, you know, I played all the gens. I played all the Pokemon games. So uh, if you guys do not know, if you're not into Pokemon, then I apologize, but I'm going to be talking about some Pokemon in this video. In this video, um, we got some news for Pokemon Sun and Moon, you know, the seventh gen game that we, you know, we've been waiting for. It doesn't seem like we've been waiting that long, but I guess we have. I mean, I guess, uh, I mean, X and Y did come out in 2012. I know it's been that long. It's like, what? But yeah, and uh, we have finally, a com uh, well, we already confirmed that we're getting a new Pokemon game, Pokemon Sun and Moon, seventh gen. And uh, we got finally got a release date. So that November 18th, you already know I'm going to be there. I'm going to be having my uh, game, my version, which I believe was like a similar date or somewhere around that time back in 2012 when X and Y came out. So that, that's cool. That's cool. Anyway, uh, despite being a YouTuber here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some Pokemon because, yeah. <laughs> uh, opening hand wise, this isn't terrible, you know, as long as I have domain to go off. But, uh, of course, as you guys know, I mean, it's Raid Raptors, they sit there, they, they touch themselves, they go to town on themselves and search and search and search and search and search and search and search. So, yeah, so as long as that background doesn't fuck me up too bad, I mean, I should have something. So that, that'll be pretty good to pull off, just, you know, send, you know, summon, like, an uh, Erebus who will return to my hand, which is fine, you know, and then I'll have an Erebus for next turn, that, that'll be great, because I do have another Eidos, so... And, uh, no idea, but it's fine. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and summon and search and summon and search. Why would you summon this if you're not gonna, if you're not planning on doing anything with it? Like, that, that's, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that you summoned this and then just left it there. Like, is it just for the 25 booty? Like, you could have did more plays next turn, but instead you just kind of, like, just popped them on the field. Anyway, uh, with what we got yesterday for Pokemon, I mean, we saw the Legendaries, we saw the Starters, we saw the Region, I mean, that's just, it's just awesome, you know? Just so awesome. Alright, Raid Raptor's Gust, that's cute. See, I have another one, so. <laughs> another one. <laughs> so, I'm gonna activate that, reduce this Ether, and go ahead and summon Ether. Ah, he thought he was like, Great Raptors Ghost, oh, ha, 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 ha. Like, no, 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 I got another one. I, I top deck in that terraforming, boys. Go ahead and summon that, uh, Eidos. I mean, Erebus. That's good, that's good. I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, search it up. I mean, we already know what card works great in this deck. Let's go with that March, March, and March, because March plus BES equals... And pretty much invincible because, of course, they can't be targeted and destroyed by card effect. And usually, the only way you can get rid of them is destroy a battle, but you can't destroy them by battle. And then I remove counter, and then when I have no counters, I'm destroyed by my own card effect. But I can't be destroyed by card effect. March, like, ah, oh, so good. Yes. <laughs> All right, time to handle these raid raptors, and that might. Just, I don't know. It depends on what he has. So it depends on what he has. Of course, even if you have like Regeki or something, I do have March, so just no. But you not being able to access that extra deck, I mean, damn. Sorry, I had to do it to you. I had to do it to you. You're sitting there playing with yourself, so I was like, you know what? Hold up, hold up. How about you stop playing with yourself, <laughs> calm down, and then we just do a mod to kind of do it, you know? Oh my god, hello? Oh, I'm just dying up there. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, never mind. He has the Twin Twisters, boys. He has the Twin Twisters. Ah, oh, that sucks. That that really does suck. <laughs> that really does suck. I was like, I was like, oh shit, you know? Damn, and use the fucking Fuzzy Wuzzy as the enabler for the Twin Twister, too. Damn, Twin Twister is so strong. Twenty Twin Twister 2016, let's go. Fuck Donald Trump. I love Twin Twister as president. Hello? What the fuck are you even saying? <laughs> ah, so that that really sucked. I banished my freaking... Banished my shit and everything. I guess I could summon Prime, but, you know. I think the best play I'm going to have next turn is... Summon Ido, summon back my Prime, tribute those two for er uh, Erebus, and you know, like he, he just keeps on getting searches and shit like that. I can go ahead and um, send another Pantheism, then I can reveal a domain, a march, and something else, but you know, he will be able to. Uh, I seriously doubt he's gonna give me the domain. Like, there's no fucking way he's gonna give me the domain. Are these two gonna turn into like a Dark Rebellion or a Castell or something? Like you're not you're not locked like you are when it comes to like using other raid raptors. So you don't have to go into a wing beast. So you could go into Castell spin back or you could go into Dark Rebellion, cut me in half, run me over, or you could go into there's a, there's a couple of cards you can go to. 
but uh, just well, probably one of those to handle this situation. To be best, uh, that twin twister hurt though. Like I I'll definitely be, I'll probably reveal one domain in two marks since that's what I have left. So I'll probably end up revealing after I hopefully get off of Erebus and then Erebus send. But now we're just right back to fucking just play with yourself, fucking raid raptors, just sending, searching, searching, sending, sending, searching, searching, sending, 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 searching, searching. Like oh my god, kill me now. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the region. The region, based on Hawaii, uh, you should have known, you know, in Aura, so you get that little tiki, and it's like, it's not meant for this region. I wonder what the tiki was meant for. Mm, maybe a region based in Hawaii? So that's, that's nice. That's nice. Oh my god, the graphics, they look nice. They look nice. Like, I thought they, I thought they couldn't take it any farther than, than X and Y. I was like, X and Y, that is the pinnacle of which you're going to get in Pokemon graphics. Like, sure, the characters look a little bit chibi, but the graphics look nice. It's nice in 3D. It's nice and powerful. No, no, they're going to kill it in Sun and Moon. Like, you actually get the full body character. Like, you would get, like, your your character, like, in cutscenes or something, like, that, the full body look. But most of the time, you like, your little squat, little, short, little chibi leg stuff. But I, I totally didn't mind. I, I liked X and Y. I liked the player customization. I liked all that, you know. But no, you get the all the time, the full look, and it's, it's looking nice and powerful. It's looking, it's looking like they're working real hard on this, and for them to be releasing it this year, there's no way they could only be working on it in 2016. Like they, they had to have been working on this much, much, much earlier, a different time. So uh, we're seeing this guy playing Raid Raptors, just doing Raid Raptor plays. You know, I seriously thought he was going to like maybe turn these two into, you know, try to see and get rid of my freaking ether. Like, really? Like, why the fuck wouldn't you do that? But, ah, uh, whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and summon Eidos, summon Prime, tribute them both for Erebus. Like, why, why? I don't get why you wouldn't do that. Like, you're, you're doing all this grand searching and plays like that, but you're not doing anything. And that sometimes that kind of ticks me off about freaking uh, Raid Raptors or the way that Raid Raptors can be played at times. You're not doing anything so we will go ahead and normal summon yes all right so i'm gonna go ahead and send that pan deity and i guess send a march because i'm gonna be revealing and getting everything out so uh it's probably nothing from your hand I mean, you feel like it's been back a random back row but i'm not sure i'm kind of worried about this middle one this one's probably readiness so, I really don't care about that too much. So, get rid of this one. And this, this just keeps searching. Like, fuck it, you know. And that's what you want to do. It's just search, 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 search. Like, oh my god. This is readiness, I'm assuming. So, I definitely want that, that, or this. You'll probably give me the marks, even though, you know, you might have a problem with that. <laughs> you can still summon from the extra deck, at, at least, you know. Oh, that's nice, but hopefully you don't get another Twin Twister and I'll be able to keep on doing my plays. Yep, I knew you were going to give me that, which is fine. And I can this, so you can still summon from the extra deck, so that's nice. And I'm assuming that when I attack, you're going to be like, readiness, and I'm like, that's fine. You know, if that's all you're going to do, sit there and, and detach and search and search and search and search and search, yep. Yep, knew I was already readiness, shocked. So. so I'm assuming that's what you're going to do. I think I've had like idea or something like that. Like idea would be idea to have right now. <laughs> Ideal to have. Yay! Searching. <laughs> so maybe now you'll go into like a raid raptor XE that can handle my uh, Erebus and Ether. Don't think you can summon from the extra deck. Anyway, Pokemon, Pokemon. Uh, so the region's looking nice, the game is looking nice, it's looking nice in Hawaii, and I can go with that. I've never been to Hawaii, personally, so I don't know nothing about Hawaii, but, you know, this will be an interesting experience, you know? Alright, on to them starters, though. That's, that's what we've been waiting for, them starters. Alright, uh, we got the grass-flying type, uh, Rowlith. We got that fire-type, Litten. Yes, a fire kitten named Litten. Like, ah, I see what you did there. And then you have that water seal performer, uh, uh Poplio. I don't know who, who, what team I'm on, you know, everybody is announcing, uh, oh yeah, before we even play the game, and, like, I don't know, I, I, I think they're all, I think they're all pretty cute, I like, I like the designs for all of them, in, in some way or another, so, uh, I totally don't mind having, or doing a journey with either, either one of them, so, you know, I'm definitely more of a hipster type, so I can definitely say that, uh, that, uh, whatever anybody, what, 
Why are you getting this? Oh, wait, I can't be targeted. I can't be targeted. I'm like, why would you do that instead of targeting my monarchs and turning defense? I can't be targeted. So, yeah, go ahead and turn that that ass to defense, boy. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I bet he was like, I have to my effect turn one of your monsters to defense mode. What? I can't attack like one of my own monsters. No! <laughs> anyway. Uh, I said they're all interested. Oh, my God. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> Holy crap, like, please stop with the fucking searching. You're not doing anything. <laughs> like, all you're doing is searching and searching and searching and searching, but you're not searching for anything. Like, when I played Raptors, and I, I played that fucking, uh, that boost. So, if you're talking to me, you get fucked up. Like, I search boost so easily, but. Ah, future. So, card can drive battle. There is no discard attack. It does not target. I know that because it's like one of the key cards that you use against uh, uh, Cosmos. So no, you can get someone stricken. Like no. Finally, he did something that's uh, uh, like on the offense. Like shit. <laughs> like, future. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, definitely know that. All right, and then that's it. Look at that. So lame, man. So lame. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and uh, summon that OG Monarch. I'll need none of these cards, and then just tribute it off for my uh, my BES terrain. Then I'll probably end up popping that nest since you know with March. I mean, my counters don't matter anyway, so I might as well just pop back row. But yeah, I'm glad that you uh, searched all them Raid Raptor monsters. So maybe next turn you might go into like an XE monster. Oh wait, I can't be targeted. Or destroyed by card effects, so mm, you might you have to handle March first. But really, like it's one of the worst Raid Raptor plays I've seen in a cool minute. Like the deck does more than just search if you just stop searching and do plays. Like holy crap! So all you've been doing is searching and searching and searching. So let me just go ahead and pop that nest for you. I mean, fuck it, why not? Why not? Uh, I know a lot of people on that team Rowlith, that uh, the owl, the grass, the flying type Rowlith. It's kind of I like it. I love the design. It's cute. Has the bow ties. Like, oh yeah, but everybody's on them. Kind of a hipster, so I probably won't end up choosing him. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that he's gonna be fast. Like, he's gonna be like septile fast. Like, that's the only way you can get away with that. Just be a grass flying type. You got that flying. You're quick. You're fast. Cause you're gonna get your booby wrecked by ice. So, you know that that water starter is probably gonna learn an ice beam. And if he's faster than you, he casts that ice beam. You're dead. So I'm assuming that you're gonna. The grass flying type's gonna be really quick, and so that'll be interesting. Uh, Litten, Litten. Uh, I'm assuming he's gonna turn into like a tiger. I'm waiting for him to respond to my my uh, OG monarch. Like, if you got something to do, then do it. Do it. Like, I don't see anything besides activating readiness, which I'm assuming so you could take no damage. But anything else, like unless you have some kind of hand trap, like a maxi or something, then more power to you. But I seriously don't think you have anything and now I'm just waiting on you wasting everybody's time with your terrible raid raptor playing like <laughs> uh Linton's gonna turn into like some cool tiger thing I wonder if we're gonna stay up here fire right now let's start off fire maybe fire dark from the design maybe that's just too easy it'd be cool you know a fire dark type that's a cat that that you know it's like the antithesis of hound doom like that that's cool that's cool I could go with that so yeah so maybe maybe and uh poplio probably the most un the, the least popular one uh i mean a seal i mean water ice might be a little bit too easy just because you know it's like dugon seal like oh yep turn to water ice i mean you're also a seal too so i don't know i don't know maybe pure water i don't know but i'm so i'm just so team greninja that i don't even like like how dare i <laughs> even think about picking up another water starter like what's wrong with you like Team Greninja, like, hashtag put my Ninja Greniga up in Pokken, like, yesterday. Like, holy crap. Alright, so, either my opponent here quit, or what? Because I, I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm assuming we're waiting on your readiness, and then you just kind of went AFK or something? Like, I don't know what the fuck. Alright, time up. I win, so. You had plays, you just kept on going into freaking... Four strikes, but I guess you're, you're, you you thought that Utopia was going to fuck me up. Nah, I didn't run any background. Oh, I'm strong strikes in here. Solomon's on strike strike and and stuff. Why not? Why not lock you out of the duel even harder? Beat yes, let's go. Alright, let's get another duel. Bear back. Alright, well, this guy's name is D-Hero, so he'll probably end up quitting when I do my Monarch plays because, uh, you know, I'll lock him out of the deck as extra deck and 
he probably doesn't want that. Like, I can, I can probably assume that he's probably like, motherfucker, don't do it. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lock you out of the freaking extra deck. Enjoy. So, we'll go ahead and summon, uh, idea. And don't fuck this up this time, because I usually fuck this up. Like, I usually do. Unless, it, I'm assuming he's taking it cool and calm, because he probably has a Twin Twister, I'm assuming. So, we'll go ahead and activate two, reveal Erebus. And then tri only tribute one, only tribute the the idols, and then save the idea because I'm gonna send the pantheism and then search the pantheism right now. So there we go. I didn't fuck that up because usually I do fuck that up. I end up being like, oh, I got two tributes. Tribute those two, and it's just like, no, no, you can you can reduce your level. So you can go ahead and lose that card for me. Go ahead and activate that pen. D D. I'll get you, you. Actually, yeah, just 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 get me three. Three marches. I love March. <laughs> I can't be targeted to a card effect? Like, yes, sir. Alright. Alright, so, uh, place your bats now. Does my opponent have twin twisters? Place your bats now. At least I, all three of these cards are actually pretty decent to have, so, you know, the only twin twister can only pop two of them. So, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say he has twin twister, because if he's, if he's D hero and he's playing D heroes and I lock him out of the extra deck, I mean, what are you gonna do? So. Fusion Conscription, that's nice and all. You go ahead and get your fusion material, but, you know, what you gonna do? Anyway, uh, tell me what team you are on. Like I said, I, I, it really depends. It really depends on what, you know, what my friends choose, uh, what I, and what I choose, and what's the, what's the hype, you know? But, I don't know. I don't know. I could, I, I don't mind going on a journey with you. All three of them. They're all nice, you know? It's not very often where I'm just not in my head at all three designs, so I can go with that. Did you just summon Honest? Did you just summon Honest and then end your turn? Like, really, nigga? Like, wow. All right, so I wonder if I'm attacking to this Honest and he's gonna have an Honest to honestly fuck me up. Like, even if he does, I can still come back with my plays. Like, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna attack your Honest because I don't know why you would summon Honest unless you had an Honest to bait out my Honest. Like, I still don't like it Honest at two, at two, but you know what are you gonna do, right? Yeah, he has an Honest for his Honest. How about? I'm thinking about someone striking him just so he loses both honest, but I can always just get this back, right? Because, uh, once per turn during either player's main phase, this card is in your graveyard. I can discard one monitor trap to go ahead and get me my, uh, card right back. So, no, I think I'll just die. Like, I'm good. I can, I'll just go ahead and get back. So, yeah. Still don't like that honest is that freaking two. Like, I think honest is just one of them cards you should only hit with your opponent once. But, no, nah, he, he got me with the honest on the honest. Like, alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get Erebus back. And I'm gonna go ahead and reveal Erebus, reduce his level, tribute off my idea. Like, nah, that was, that was cute. I, I was like, why would you summon Honest unless you had another Honest to back up your Honest? But then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I don't care, you know? But go ahead and get that back! And then we'll go ahead and send some more, search some more, send that, and we'll send... Haha, <laughs> Monarch, fuck you. I don't feel bad. Alright, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Nigga just fucking had an honest and hit me with an honest on the honest, and he's like, Monarch, fuck you. Like, I. <clears throat> nigga. <laughs> Double honest opening up head ass man. Like, nigga, whatever. Alright, I'll get one more duel. Bear. Anyway, in the comment section below, tell me which star are you gonna go with. You're gonna go with Rowlet, you're gonna go with Litten, or you're gonna go with Poplio. You know, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. I'm interested to. I'm kind of pondering what you guys are gonna choose, and maybe it'll sway what I choose, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, then we got them legendaries. Uh, they didn't say their names, but uh, I remember a couple months ago we got some patentings on some names. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. I did not open up well. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> like, like this man is about to fucking pen to some of the tits. Like he picks the dragon pit because he can just grab himself another dragon pit. Like I'm gonna die. Like I am going to die. <laughs> I did not open up well at all. Like look at look at this garbage ass hand. Like what do you do with this? What do you do with this? That's why I like going second. Like I, I really don't do anything first. Going first, like, yep, 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 yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that surrender button. Like, I opened up the booty. We'll get one more duel. Bear back. Alright, got another duel. And it's a guy named Dank, so. I wonder if he'll just summon Danklaw on me. If he summons Danklaw on me, then. Ugh. And then once again, like, it's the complete opposite. Alright, he's just gonna scoop. Alright, bear back again. Alright, another duel. That's it. He saw, he saw the next deck and he's like, no, Monarch! And he just immediately quit. It's just fine to me, I mean. But there's actually a purpose, there's a method to my madness that I'm doing right now. So, uh, I didn't open up too hot. Or, I did, but there's really nothing I want to do, because Dex doesn't like to go fucking first. Like, Negus. 
If I set both of these, they're probably going to get Twin Twister, so I'm just going to set one. Hopefully he doesn't go too often. Hopefully the snipe out the, and the one use of the Sound Strike will be enough. But yeah, I didn't open up too hot. Well, I did. I have a play. It's just, yeah. Nah, no monarchs, spells, or traps, or anything along those lines. Hell yeah, I'm gonna strike that. Hell no. I don't want you to get to fucking Deneb. I'm like, no. Like, Deneb search? No, thank you. You just go away. Maybe I should have saved it for his Altair, actually. Because if he has a. If he just opened up with Altair, he could just go Altair and summon back that Deneb. I probably should have saved it. Probably should have let him Deneb search the Altair and then Altair summon. Ah, uh, I kind of jumped the gun there. But I, I, I mean, I have Vanity, so I could just lock him out of playing the game, so. But nope, still not really doing much. I can go ahead and summon my BS, but I just have nothing to go with it. If I had like my domain or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my three counters. I'm gonna hit you directly, but you know. Who's to say that uh, you won't have anything? I'm only gonna set the vanities. So remove a counter. Like, mm -mm. If I had domain, if I had march, man, we, maybe we could talk more, but just, just, just this. Not very good, so I'm hoping I'm going to rely on the Vanity as soon as he summons Altair. So like, Vanities? No. And then I'm stronger than the Altair, so... Well, I can't destroy the battle anyway, so... Even if he attacks and has an honest, I'm not going to be destroyed. I'll just remove a counter, but... Anyway, uh, the Legendaries. We don't know their name, but someone did, like, a trademark somewhere. I remember a couple months ago, so I think it was, like, Soga Leo and Luna Ala. We'll go with that. Uh, they both look really cool. Like, I love the designs for both of them. Everybody is riding on that, uh... That Tiger Jock, I can definitely tell you that. Everybody's on that Tiger Jock, so. Just gonna go ahead and flip up Vanities. Like, nah. Nah. How about you don't do Goblin Berg? You can go in defense, but how about you don't do Goblin Berg? I do not. I have not opened up well, even nearly well enough to be dueling against the barrage of fucking plays that you might have, so no. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Slow it down like me, you know? And when I get that domain and stuff like that, then maybe, you know, maybe we could talk. Like, oh, there's domain right there. So. Uh, I really see the point playing it, especially since you can't special summon, but I guess it's, I guess it'd be a good precautionary just to go ahead and activate domain and just be like, no, no. I have a tribute summon card, you can't summon from the extra deck, you can't summon special summon, period. Just take it slow, you know? I, I, I'm gonna take this duel slow. The only thing that really sucks is I'm gonna run out of counters soon. I only have one counter left, so domain is nice and all, but I, I mean, I'd much rather have March, because I'm about to get fucked up and move my last counter, and terrain is gonna die, and then my vanity is gonna die, and I'm gonna have, like, not lose my troops on the monster, but add my vanity, it's like, oh no. Hell no, to the no, no, no. <laughs> That's not what I need at all. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I like the moon Pokemon. I, I, I'm leaning more towards the moon Pokemon. Maybe it's the hipster in me, but I, I you know, when we did that circular moon attack and did that blast, I was like, That's cool. You know, Selgaleo, he looks pretty cool as well. Alright, so, guessing type-wise, I'm assuming, uh, so is either, like, pure fire, or maybe, like, fire fairy, since it has to do with, like, space, and he has, like, that moon look. Alright, well, you can't special summon, so, summoning Vega is nice and all, but, <laughs> like, and, and Vega? But I guess maybe you're just trying to throw monsters at my BES? Like, if that's the case, then just fuck me. Please, let me draw March. No, I drew into a terraforming, so I can get another domain. Awesome, that's, that's what I need, I, I don't know. I don't need my fucking Erebus or anything along those lines or Ether. No, nah, no, nah, I just need to draw into another fucking uh, uh, terraforming into another domain. Like, yes, that, that's great. <laughs> so, I move my last counter. That's it. <laughs> that's it. If I if I attack or am attacked, then I'm just dead. Yeah. Oh, let's try and move fire. Try, huh? This card destroy. Uh, this card attack. No attack. Move from counter. Uh, if you cannot, which I cannot, destroy it, so I'm dead, so let's see if this man is actually smart enough to realize that. I mean, he's just summoned the Vega without, with, well, under vanity, so I'm assuming not. Okay, you could have got rid of my domain, because now you still can't summon from the extra deck, like, you could have got rid of my domain, and domain would have got rid of the vanities. You could have just summoned a monster and attack into my VS, that would have got rid of the vanities, like, Wow, like I say, am I actually gonna lose to this guy because I opened up, like, fucking trash? Like, that would suck. <laughs> like, if I could just draw into something. Into anything, really. Yep. Summoning, summoning of another Deneb. Deneb, search for something on Tyre. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, all you have to do is just attack into me and then main face, too. 
go into an extreme monster if that's what you want to do, which it seems like it's what you really want to do, because I'm going to die after you attack me, but you can't summon from the extra deck. Did he get Vega? He did get Vega. What the hell are your Altairs? You seen Altair, I'll duel. Like, hello? <laughs> Please tell me that you're smart enough to attack enemy. Please read my card. Read, nigga, read. So, Sogalia, like, Pure Fire or maybe Fairy, Fire Fairy, we haven't had one of those. And then for Luna Ala, uh, I, I don't want to say Flying, because Flying is just too easy, because, I mean, it's Flying, it's a bat. Wow. But you're not going to attack me. Awesome. Awesome, and now I get fucking marked. Like, mmm. Yeah, so I think I'll just go ahead and hit you with the Twin Twisters. Pop those two, then play this march and then just sit on it. Like, wow, and that's what you set? That's what you set? Ah, march. I mean, I really don't see the threat from either one of these two cards, but I guess I'll just go ahead and kill the Nep. Like, alright. And I'm gonna be as pretty much as invincible. Uh, can't be targeted by card effects, can't be destroyed by card effects, can't be destroyed by battle. So. And when I attack, I'm up to a 26 speeder. So, that, that's nice, that's nice. And you still can't summon from the extra deck. Like, Wow, wow, wow. K strategy. I'm assuming your strategy is cool. I'm assuming that. I don't speak Spanish, but I mean, I did take two, you know, two and a half years in high school, so you know, Spanish master over here. Anyway, I'm, I just can't see how you're gonna get out of this. The fucking once the BES gets up with the march, it's just, it's just, just too strong. And you still can't summon from the extra deck. Like maybe if you can summon from the extra deck, maybe we could talk, but you can't summon from the extra deck. <laughs> so all you had to do was just, you know, summon from the extra deck, go into like fucking like uh like Deltros, pop this, and then attack over me. But you can't you can't access the extra deck. You can go ahead and Altair, air Vega the Neb, search, search, summon, summon, search, search. I, I mean, I'll probably just end up killing you softly. Killing you softly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop. <laughs> yep, and turn. No, that's still not what I need. Like, holy crap. I'm definitely not killing you. Why? So you can go back to the graveyard? Would you search with, uh, search for another Vega? Triple Vega. Alright. No, I don't got shit. You guys should activate another March just in case. I'm gonna activate another March just in case. Just in case he gets rid of one. I mean, even if he twin twitch, still can't summon for that crack. And he's, he's not smart enough to know that he could just attack into me and fuck up my day. So I'll just go ahead and attack this Vega. Please let me draw into another BES or, or Erebus or Ether. Like, I need my tribute. I need my tributes. Like, I got my tributes. I'm ready to go. You know, this idea is just sitting in my hand, waiting in my hand, sitting, waiting. Like, please give me Eidos, give me Ether, and let's go. So, the flying type, that's that's, that's too easy. That's, that's way too easy. So, I hope it's not just going to be a flying type. Like, it and if it is, then that's lame, because it looks like a flying dark, but you already did that last fucking with X and Y with uh, Evital, so that that's boring, you know. And what, hopefully it's something fairy, I mean, especially the moon, I mean, come on, the moon, it's fairies. Oh. Kill that summoner monk for me. Bring that ass here, boy. Uh, still got nothing. Sorry I'm taking this so fucking slow. I mean, I'm, lo I'm locking them out, I'm, I'm doing that, but I just need to draw into another BGS, or a, like, there's a handful of things that I can draw into. To uh, do better in this tool. <laughs> I kill one monster, he draws a card. I kill one monster, he draws a card. So I'm not, you know, making him nag. I'm not pushing him down. I need to draw into something. I need to push more aggressively. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I fucking needed. Thank you. Then summon you. Then activate that domain. Probably gonna get your background. And then just Eidos. Because I can go ahead and send you to get a search. I have plenty of light points. I mean, not to get a search, get my uh, Pantheism back again. So we'll send this, we'll send this, uh, on the field. This. Go away. Wow, and you're, st and you're not even strong enough to get over anybody. Uh, what's the defense on Vega? I think it's like 16? Yeah. Yeah, you're not even strong enough to get over anybody. Uh, is there anything that I want with Pantheism? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I have my domain, I have my march, I don't need a monarch storm for it, so I guess I can get another pantheism. And then just hold on to it, I guess. Yeah, I might as well I might as well do it because idea's gonna die, so 
might as well get something out of it and get into return. So I guess we'll just get pan pantheism, pantheism, and and get another march. That uh, don't mean fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> So I'm hoping that it's not flying. I'm hoping that it's either pu uh, not pure fairy, because pure fairy is easy. It's too easy. I'm hoping, really hoping, uh, if it's flying, then flying fairy. I mean, we we, we already have that. We already have uh, uh, like like toga kiss and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of like not into that. Uh, I'm assuming that the set card is Vega. Like that, that's what I'm gonna assume. Nope. Can't touch this. And. Not killing that Deneb. Not killing that Deneb. I'm assuming this set card is Vega, and even if it's not, then you know, then I know that he, I know everything he has in his, his possession right now. Oh, Goldenberg. Ah, zero defense. Ah, I did actually type this up, so he has the Vega in the hand, which is fine. Which is fine. I think that might be it. Like, I, I, I really can't see you coming back into this duel. Like, if you were, maybe if you were Twin Twister, pop the domain, tag, you could have done a lot of things, but instead, nope. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know, because we never had a fire fairy type before. So I'm hoping that the, the lion Sogolio is fire fairy. We never had it before. That's awesome. I'm hoping that the bat, the moon, is dark fairy. We have never had a dark fairy type. I think that would be pretty cool if it was a dark fairy type. You know? uh, I don't think that would help with any of the weaknesses. I think it would be normal to fighting. So that's, nah. Uh, Again, normal to fighting. Super fucked bug. It would just gain a couple of weaknesses, but maybe it would have like you know, you know, hit you with that uh, that uh, what's that move called? Not dazzling gleam. The other one. I forgot the name of the freaking move. The the moon something. I want to say moonlight, but that's not it. I don't remember the name of the moon. Moonblast. Moonblast. Hit you with the moonblast. Hit you with the dark pulse. Like let's go. You know. It would gain a couple of weaknesses, but I think the stab Dark Pulse and the stab, uh, the stab Moonlight would be cool, you know? You'd still be with the Poison, you'd still be with the Steel, because Dark doesn't resist Steel anymore. Or no, no, Steel doesn't resist Dark. Steel, dark never uh, resists the Steel, so. Still weak to, still weak to Poison, still weak to Steel. Mm, not weak to fighting, you know, just fighting would be normal. St weak to Bug. I think that's it. Weak to fairy. No, does fairy resist fight fairy? I'm not sure if fairy resists fairy, but I know dark is weak to fairy. So anyway, I'm done talking about Pokemon. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk about Pokemon a little bit. I'm not a Poke tubing channel. I don't do anything with Pokemon. I don't, you know, I haven't played Pokemon game on the channel in a cool minute. Uh, and I'm not gonna create a separate video. So I was like, screw it. In daily duel, I talk about whatever. I'm talking about Pokemon. So there you go. So tell me in the comment section below what type you think the legendaries are and what star you will be choosing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I will be back tomorrow tagging, playing them with Dragoonities. Uh, the poll should be up tomorrow, so look for that. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching.